Hello, and welcome back to another Sunday playthrough of my indie game, Gilded Eternal. This is a game about luring monsters and hoarding gold. You can't uh, usually attack monsters, so the only thing you can do is lure them into this hand and try to not get hurt by the monsters. I did it. I successfully did that for that first room. This is one of my favorite power-ups. Uh, it's a sticky hand. And basically, it catches monsters, spins them around in a circle, and then you can just slam them into the hand. That orange uh, monster explodes after a little bit. So that's why that happened. But this is really good for um, catching multiple monsters at once and just getting a lot of gold. I kind of <laughs> messed up there because they all exploded because of the orange guy, but the hand was spinning off screen at the time that it exploded. So all of the coins uh, were off screen. Maybe that's a thing I should fix. Maybe you should just automatically get coins if they spawn off screen. That might be a good idea. You're watching game design live. I'm actively designing right now. Um, so I've asked for questions to answer during these Sunday playthroughs, and I got a question. It is a question about the sound effects and how I did make them and how I uh, plan them. If I'm remembering right. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, the short answer is I use a program called BFXR. And the long answer is so this is BFXR. This is a sound program that is made to make sounds for video games. And it's made to resemble kind of the games that, or the sounds that you would hear. Uh, when you're playing older games and basically let's take that one so it saves everything that you make or everything that it makes and then you can completely alter them like there's a whole bunch of options yeah some of them harder to hear so like that You can change the like the synth that they come in. And then you can add multiple sounds together. So this is how I made, I think, all of the sounds for Gilded Eternal. Let's see. Yeah. Sometimes I'll take sounds and I'll bring them into Pro Tools and then I'll I'll do some editing there, but for the most part, I think I used this for all of the sound effects. I used Pro Tools for all of the music. Um, but yeah, I hope that answered your question. How was that? Was that a good explanation? Um, yeah, I hope that was informative. I hope that answered your question. Thank you for the question. Please, if you have any other questions about the game, how it's made, um, really anything. I will answer any question. You could ask me my favorite ice cream. I would answer that. I could just tell you right now, but I'm not going to. You need to ask a question for that. Yeah. I'm uh, working also on the next devlog. Um, this one's a little different. It's maybe less devlog and more just talking about video games. And it's still in the frame of Gilded Eternal. But I, I kind of get into some overall game development stuff. I think I'll do one more. Um, it's about like influence versus uh, 
stealing, like um, copying something versus being influenced by it and creating something new. And I also go over a big influence on this game and just me making games in general. Oh, nope. That's it. All right. No, actually, I'm going to do one more because that was short. That was it for that life of playing. This is another afternoon session. I hope it's not too obvious that I'm unable to think. What's your favorite monster? I guess your comments don't have to all be questions. They could also be comments. You think that's why they call it that? No, probably not. I just got oop, explosion boots, um, which are a little self-explanatory. They're boots that when you wear them, every jump explodes. It's a little risky because you gotta let the monsters get close to you. Um, but it can really help you out in a pinch. It helps you out with those orange guys because you no longer need to carry them to the hand. Instead of them exploding on you, you explode on them. Can I afford this? No. <laughs> so this is, if you have the cash, this is a good combo of, of items to pick up. Because this, instead of getting gold, it drops a heart. And for this one, instead of the combo being bronze, silver, gold, it flips it so gold is first. So basically what that works out to is monsters drop hearts. Unless you get them in quick succession, then they drop heart, silver, bronze. But it's a really good way of getting a lot of hearts. Um, but it's expensive to do that. And you gotta be lucky enough to get those two in the same little shop area. Ooh. Oh. Maybe one of these days I'll also talk about the music, because I, I really like the music for this game. Um, and I wouldn't mind talking about how I made it. Can I do it? No. But I can afford that. Hey, all right. The one, the only, stick E hand. Stick Edward hand. <laughs> that worked out. I used the, um, the orange explodey guy as an explosion weapon on one of the enemies. I'm going to get that heart. It's expensive, but I'm going to get that heart. E ooh, e ooh, e Things get hairy. All right, look at that. I'm actually gonna get past the first area in a loop. Yes. Okay. So that's, well, that's this. Uh, it makes you fast. Yeah. Sure am. Sure am fast. That's good for these orange guys, because, you know, they explode if you take too long. Right now, it is impossible for me to take too long. Eat, oh, no.
Nice. So the the next uh, video should be out, I think, tomorrow. I sure hope tomorrow. I think it's really good. I really like it. Um, and I want it to be done. I would love for it to just be out. But I feel that way about most things I make. I kind of just want them to be out so I can make the next thing. And if there are benefits to having a thing out, I just want to reap those benefits. I don't, I don't want to wait. Come on. Ugh, I could have got that. No! Uh, okay. Happy Sunday. I hope your week is good. I'll talk to you next time. Ask me a question.